my name is Debbie Porter and I've been shooting here in Houston for close to 25 years. So I go way back on headshots if that's um, what you're looking for. We've been doing headshots ever since they were like black and white. What advice can you give actors to bring out their best in a headshot? Um, I think that they have to be mentally prepared as far as like wardrobe and, you know, doing some, um, you know, doing your uh, research before you come, like researching headshots online, mm -hmm. being familiar with what your agency wants. Mm -hmm. um, the more prepared that you are, then you don't have so much to stress out about when you're at the shoot. But I, I always tell people to look on, online, especially if they're gonna go to a particular agency and go through the headshots that are already posted on their website to kind of get you familiar with what they're doing or what they like. Once you're with an agency, your agent really knows you best and knows what way they want to um, represent you and how they see you. And it's, you know, to me, it's their job to groom you. Um, if I have somebody come to me that doesn't have an agent, you certainly need that one commercial headshot, depending on the market that you're at. Like in Houston, you need a commercial headshot. If you're in LA, you're going to go a little bit more film. So it depends on where you're at. But with the agencies here, I would say it's more commercial mm -hmm. and maybe a second look is film. And, a, and now that we're posting online, a lot of things like Actors Access, different kind of yeah. things, you can upload all kinds of pictures digitally now. Mm -hmm. But as far as a copy of a headshot, you probably just need one. Looks like you, natural, not overdone, don't go into character yet. Mm -hmm. Just a basic headshot's always your 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 money shot. Yeah, get some good sleep. Don't drink. <laughs> I've had some people say, "I need a glass of wine," you know, to relax me. No, you have lazy eyes. You need to be you need to be with it. You need to be yourself. Um, I mean, you're about to put yourself in front of a lot of cameras, hopefully. So you know, but I'm I'm amazed at the actors that struggle with still pictures because they're used to having lines and scripts and, and being around. somebody yeah. else and not being limited. So I've had some of the best actors struggle with their headshots. But, you know, I, uh, for me, I've done this so long and it's one of my favorite things to do on headshots um, is that I, I think people are just comfortable because I am comfortable and I don't give it a lot of thought. So sometimes people are, you know, this is so important to them, I realize that but it's not much for me to do it. So if I kind of am comfortable, I think they're comfortable. So, but I'll get, you know, I think I remember you writing me and you had a lot of questions and you yeah. know, you were doing your research and all that. And uh, I try my best to give the information that I need to, mm -hmm. but as long as you bring me the right things, uh, you know, wardrobe, I'm not really concerned about, you know, how you're going to act as long as you're, you know, as long as you're feeling good, you know, prepared yourself and, you know, I mean, I, I always recommend hair and makeup because then you don't have to worry about, do I do my hair right or, you know, unless you're, unless you're comfortable with it and your agent was comfortable with it, you can just come yourself and it, the headshots, the energy is in the eyes. And it's just being genuine. Mm -hmm. So it's. And that all shows. Yeah. That all shows. Like your eyes. Just, oh, yeah, because yeah. the agents will always say the eyes, you know, the eyes have to talk, personality in the eyes, light in the eyes. It's always about the eyes. Yeah. But, you know, what's that saying? Um, the windows to your soul yeah, is through your is, eyes. Yeah. So, you know, it, it's like I can tell if, I, if I'm working with somebody and I see that they're so kind of. Can you of, tell when, like, someone's not being genuine through their eyes? Yeah, well, yeah, that's what I was going to say. If um, I'm working with somebody and it doesn't, I'm not convinced, mm -hmm. then I know that I have to have a few different t techniques to get them where I do. I can tell by just looking at them mm -hmm. if it's, you know, authentic or genuine. And just then at that point, I just kind of, then I have a bag of tricks, you <laughs> know. And, and if I don't have to use them, then I'd rather get natural. I'd rather not pose people. I'd rather not, you know, I'd rather see what they're willing to give. Mm -hmm. 
And then with digital, once I get one pretty close to what I'm looking for, if I show them, then it gives them the confidence yeah. that they're close to what they need or they're genuinely surprised and ready to give a little bit more. Debbie, you've been in the photography business for over 20 years, as you said earlier, and you've worked with some, several of the best talent in this industry. What tips can you give to aspiring photographers, specifically for headshots? Um, I think that they need to do their homework on what is out there because all the trends change all the time. Mm -hmm. And if you're not current, um, the agencies aren't going to be happy. And really, your leads come from the agencies. Mm -hmm. You know, most of my leads are directly from the agencies, and the agencies like that I am consistent and that I stay on top of trends and changes. Mm -hmm. And there's been a lot over the period of time. So um, you really just need to kind of stay on top of what's out there and you're gonna have to develop a rapport with the agencies so that so that they don't mind sending their talent to you. It is important to be a good technical photographer, but some photographers get kind of lost in, in technicalities. And it's Too more, yeah, because then they don't engage with the actor as far as that it's really about personality and it's really about uh, pulling something out of them and bringing the talent, you know, and making them approachable. And, you know, the technicalities would be that there are certain kind of maybe uh, lenses, equipment to use, lighting to use and all that. But that, that follows along again where the, the current trends are important, you know, but, um, and LA is a good example. I mean, they're, they're, uh, they're always more on the cutting edge than the sub southern states you know so just kind of looking at what they're doing and mm -hmm. also taking taking care of what your local market is like is is probably the best advice i can give okay and the last question i like to ask is from your point of view as a photographer what does it take for actors to be successful in the entertainment industry well if you're talking specifically about pictures then I think they need to be you know well versed well equipped showing different looks staying on top of your uh, photos being current studying you know beyond the pictures you know just workshops studying putting yourself out there you know just depends on how passionate you are how far you want to go you know, if, if you're not in LA, you're gonna, um, it's gonna take a little bit longer to get out there, you know, but like I had told you, there's a lot of people that I see do it all the time. So I think you just have to have a passion for it like anything. Persistent. You, yeah, persistent and passionate and stay, study and stay on top of your, you know, your trade. And, mm -hmm. you know, just like the, you know, it's, a, it's amazing how important though the headshots are because it's kind of, it's the visual that people see before it's they the might. First impression right directors. exactly mm -hmm. and so it's, it's it's really important but it's not it's not as complex as we think it is mm -hmm. but it is really important yeah okay thank you so much for okay. your time yes you're welcome you. all right i like your headshots <laughs> Thanks.